to the rapporteur, Mrs. Rebecca Harms, for five minutes. Herr Präsident, sehr geehrte... President, honourable uh, colleagues, uh, shadow rapporteurs, uh, Commissioner, Now, I am working on the assumption that this is of interest to the people in Lithuania. So let me uh, greet the Lithuanian uh, citizens, in particular the people from uh, Vizaginas. When I visited Vizaginas and the Ignalina power uh, plant, uh, something which I've been doing over the past 17 years, it, it every time becomes clear to me what a difficult position uh, uh, or difficult decision was taken uh, to uh, stop the operation of, of the plant in order to be able to accede to the EU. And uh, I must also say that I think that was the right decision to take because there were safety concerns in relation to these Soviet-era RBMK water-cooled reactors and there was no way of dealing with those safety concerns uh, uh, but uh, to close down the plants. So it was the correct decision to take. But there was pressure from Brussels to stop using the plants. And it's only right and proper that their obligation to stop operating the plant uh, went hand in glove with the fact that the EU would bear part of the cost for this and that Lithuania as a small country wouldn't be expected to pay for all of this. These uh, were reactors that were built at the time under pressure from the Soviet authorities which occupied Lithuania at the time. And uh, Today's discussion is about that promise made by the EU uh, to share in the cost of decommissioning. And uh, I welcome the fact that the Parliament has gone along with my uh, proposal. Which is not to leave the resources uh, at what was suggested under the MFF, but uh, to increase it to 780 million euro. Uh, this way, we can make sure that for 2026 and 2027, uh, the decommissioning of blocks one and two of the two uh, reactors uh, can be started. There will be a vote on this tomorrow, of course. But what is also important is the ratio between uh, the part paid for by Lithuania and the co-financing uh, provided by the EU. It should be kept at the level uh, which is currently in place. Now, decommissioning in Ignalina, and as I said, I've paid regular visits to the plant, uh, is being done properly. And they are dealing in a very responsible way with the risks attached to decommissioning, but they're at the same time being very transparent about how resources are being used, and I very much welcome that. Lithuania, uh, through a, a plebiscite, has decided uh, to uh, stop using nuclear energy, and that's a further point that we should bear in mind. This is something that we should not simply take note of. I think today's decision on Ignalina and decommissioning needs to be linked to a, a consistent approach which is taken to the building of the plant in Ostrovich in Belarusia, which is just a, th a stone's throw uh, away. Uh, the nuclear power plant which is being uh, constructed there is very risky. It's almost uh, completed. And the stress test uh, pointed to risks. And it's not clear how those risks can be uh, managed. Uh, for example, uh, the potential uh, earthquakes that can occur in the region uh, uh, would 
uh, cause damage to the plant uh, and there's no way of remedying that. So I, I do think that we need to protect the uh, safety uh, risk of Lithuania vis-a-vis -vis Belarus and the fact that they are now building a nuclear power plant there.